The Norwegian Supreme Court had last year two cases which both illustrates the challenges that judges will be faced with in the coming years uh, in regard to climate issues. The first case was about licenses given to oil companies to search for oil in the uh, sea north of Norway. Environmental organizations challenged these licenses and argued that they were in breach of the constitutional rule uh, for protection of nature. The court found that the licenses were legal. They said in essence that this question had been thoroughly discussed in the Norwegian parliament many times. And in these circumstances, the threshold for courts to overturn the decision must be very high. The second case was different. It concerned a group of Sami people that complained of the erection of windmills in areas that they had traditionally used uh, for grazing areas for the reindeers in wintertime. Areas high up where the snow blows away so that the reindeers can find food in wintertime. Here, the court came to the conclusion that the allowances were void. The court based the assessment of the assumption that the Sami people would have serious problem in continuing their traditional herding uh, activities uh, because of the windmills. And this ruling was um, laid down even though the windmills were already set up. These cases illustrates, as I said, some of the challenges that judges will be faced with in dealing with climate issues. Firstly, it is the challenge of finding the right balance between respect for democratic political processes on the one hand and the protection for nature and future generations on the other hand. Secondly, to find the right balance between the need to act strongly now to fight climate change on the one hand and on the other hand, the consequences for these people that are affected by these decisions here and now. Thirdly, the cases illustrates the challenges of assessing cases with a high degree of complexity. The courts must be watchdogs for thorough assessments in these cases. But we must also be aware of the long-term consequences of our rulings and their consequences. And lastly, I will point to that climate change implies a need to act quickly. There is little time. To ask for more thorough assessments will often be the result of court rulings. That is important, but it can also affect the speed that is needed. So how can these challenges be overcome? That was the question I was asked to answer. And I have no other answer than that we must do our best. Courts have a responsibility, like all other powers, to work towards a sustainable future. And courts must not be obstacles for the changes that are needed. But on the other hand, we must also be guardians for the proportionality and fairness towards people that are affected here and now. Disruptions are never easy, and it will not be easy for the courts either. 
but I have faith in the ability of courts to strike the right balance and to uphold the trust that is needed in societies. We shall manage to fight climate change and give our children the future that they deserve. Thank you.